Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to show you guys a really cool effect. So we're going to create this effect where the sky looks like this and we're going to change it to something like this. Let's jump straight into Premiere Pro and check it out. Okay, so I have my footage here of a forest by a lake and what we're going to do is we are going to go to your effects panel and search for an effect called the color key. Drag that onto our footage. You go to the color key section on the left here and you click on this little eyedropper. What that's going to do, it's going to ask you which color are you trying to remove from your footage. Sometimes you'll see this doesn't always work on all footage. Why this will work on this one is because there's tons of green and brown and then there's blue at the top and some blue at the bottom. The blue at the bottom will sort out later. If there were tons of clouds and there was a lot of gradient it'd be a lot harder to do so just be aware of that. It doesn't work on all types of footage. I selected my eyedropper tool and now I click on the section of the sky that I want to remove and you can see a little bit of black has already come through. Now you go down to the color tolerance here and you drag this thing across and you drag it until it basically takes out most of your sky. As you can see at the bottom here it started to remove some of the blue in the lake that is because I've pulled the tolerance so high that any blue now that it's going to find in the video it's going to start pulling out so really really easy way to get around this all we do is we click on this pen tool up here by the opacity that allows us to create a mask and I'm going to create a mask on the bottom section that I want to cover up like that. Now we have a problem because the top section is gone and that's really easy. We hold alt and duplicate this layer by holding alt and dragging up and on the top layer we click invert so now what we have is a top section if i turn this off and a bottom section and then all we do is on the bottom section we take our color key and we delete it turn it off and there we go everything on the bottom is nice and clean and we have a section on the top that we can now work with so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag these two clips up because on the bottom section we want to put in our clouds but before we do that you can see there are some little bits of blue in the top right hand corner there so i'm going to click on the top section and i'm going to add just one more effect called the ultra key you don't always have to do this sometimes it'll work perfectly without using the ultra key but what the ultra key is going to do is allow you just to the find some of those little parts that you want to get rid of. So I'm going to push the pedestal up a little bit. Mostly what I want to do is add a choke. So if I add a choke onto there, you can see some of the black parts disappear. If I pull it too far, it's going to look really weird. So I just want to add a slight choke. Luckily, my footage matches more or less the same color. So if I drag this under, as you can see, you're not really going to notice that blue. Now all you have to do is adjust your footage underneath. I'm going to scale this thing up and push it a little bit higher so we can see the clouds nicely. So I noticed I had a line going across where my mask was. So if that ever happens, make sure your mask feather is on zero for both of them. And then that thing will disappear. And if I select play, slowly moves in with a cool time lapse going at the same time. Uh, gives us really cool effect. But you're gonna say, Sean, the bottom section doesn't look good. The reflection doesn't match the top. That can be easily overcome. We take our bottom clip, duplicate it by holding Alt, drag it all the way to the top because that's where I want it to appear. And I search for an effect called flip vertical, or vertical flip, basically gonna turn it upside down. So I vertical flip it and I drag it down. You can see it reflects at that point. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the blend mode onto a multiplier. That'll be a lot easier to see. And now you can see the reflections in the water. And if I drag it down to the point that it matches, uh, more or less, there looks good. But it is still showing a bit, so what you do need to do is you need to draw a mask around the lake area in order to hide it. You just want it to cover this lake area. Let's just do this quickly. Boom, shakalak, done. Add a bit of a feather onto that so you don't notice it. Push that thing right up. Awesome, so we've got our mask, and now if we play it through, Play, boom, shakalak, there we go. You got your really cool effect, your sky is replaced and you have a reflection in the water. Boom, and that's it. Hey guys, if this was helpful, if it added value to your life, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. You can check out some of other videos like this on my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Cheers.